The negative effects of arrogance are by no means limited to a person's spiritual nature. It also does them physical harm. Concerns over such things as making a mistake, being subject to criticism or humiliation, losing prestige, earning the approval of others, or losing things of which one is proud, put them under extreme pressure. This is just the right condition for stress to arise. The restlessness and distress in their souls is reflected in various physical impairments. Their hair, for instance, becomes dull and slows its growth. Their skin thickens, becomes hard, and loses its elasticity. The effects of aging are more obvious. Sudden wrinkles may appear. Their mouths dry up. Their eyes lose their vitality and become dull. Their facial muscles contract and their discomfort is plain to see. A general yellowing takes place in their skin. In addition, an arrogant person has impaired speech and fails to speak fluently or sincerely. Every sentence they utter can easily be seen to be irrational and dishonest. The intense stress that results from arrogance gradually shows its effects and eventually leads to serious health problems. Experts often state that stress leads to many illnesses. Thus, an arrogant person causes the most damage to himself. Believers, on the other hand, lead joyful and peaceful lives, since they put their trust in God and believe in the reality of destiny. Of course, natural signs of aging will appear on them as well, but not to the extent caused by the harmful effects of stress and the gloomy temperament of the arrogant. In this way, believers lead happy lives, both in this world and beyond. Throughout history, the arrogant have relied on their riches, power, and dominion, and sought to be the only leaders in society. They have also inflicted terrible oppression, suffering, and cruelty on people in order to make their desires a reality and impose their authority on them. So arrogant were they that this state led them to rebel against God and his messengers and even to declare their own false divinity. God is surely beyond that. One can see how the leaders of the arrogant, who have existed in every age, have waged an open struggle against God's verses and messengers and against believers. God reveals the following about these arrogant unbelievers in the Qur'an. Certainly, those who argue about the signs of God without any authority having come to them have nothing in their breasts except for pride, which they will never be able to vindicate. Therefore seek refuge with God. He is the all-hearing, the all-seeing. The fate of these arrogant unbelievers from history, both in this world and the next, is set down in the Qur'an as a deterrent to others. One of these cruel unbelievers who rose up against God in his arrogance was the ancient Egyptian ruler, Pharaoh.
Pharaoh is one of the most arrogant people who have ever lived. In his cruelty and pride, Pharaoh regarded himself as a deity. God is surely beyond that. During his reign, he imposed a system of slavery based on oppression on the children of Israel. He also brought his people to believe that he was the only lord of all the lands of Egypt and of the river Nile. Goods, property, and descent were Pharaoh's criteria of superiority. This distorted perspective showed itself everywhere in ancient Egypt, from the state administration to daily life. Contests were held to determine the strongest, with the losers being put to death. The way Pharaoh rose up in pride is described in the Quran. Pharaoh called to his people, saying, My people, does the kingdom of Egypt not belong to me? Do not all these rivers flow under my control? Do you not then see? In that way, he swayed his people, and they succumbed to him. They were a people of deviators. Pharaoh and his closest circle became so arrogant as to refuse to recognize God and his messengers. So arrogant were they that they even mocked the messengers and verses of God. Yet in the end, the reward of Pharaoh and those who went along with him was terrible loss, humiliation, and suffering. Not only did Pharaoh lose all his wealth and sovereignty and riches, but he was also condemned to eternal suffering in the hereafter. Pharaoh's end, a lesson to us all, is described in these terms in the Quran. to Pharaoh and his ruling circle. They followed Pharaoh's command, but Pharaoh's command was not rightly guided. He will go ahead of his people on the day of resurrection and lead them down into the fire. What an evil watering hole to be led to. They are pursued by a curse in the world and on the day of resurrection. What an evil gift to be given.